Okay, this little project is going to be about raising a, an easy chair uh, uh, so that somebody who has a hard time getting up uh, can be higher off the ground, approximately uh, eight inches or seven and a half inches from where it is. Makes it easier on uh, people's knees, and back, and so on. Uh, just to point out, there's the picture of the tools I'm going to use, and uh, what I made was a uh, a frame, a box frame, to go on the floor first, and then the box frame will fit on this uh, uh, pedestal that normally is on the uh, chair and I'm going to uh, disconnect it or unbolt it and then put the box frame on there okay again there's the screws they're easy to get to 7 16 and uh, that uh, piece will come right right off I can show you right now I've got it um, I'm done so this is what it looks like underneath and when I get it finished I'll show you how it works okay uh, let me explain what I did so that uh, it's clear for somebody like me that doesn't know a whole lot about doing this I took the frame made it out of uh, 2 by 7 and then put it on the uh, this is the actual bottom of the the recliner the part that uh, rests on the floor and I marked an outline of the frame so that I know where it would go and then um, as you can see I marked the uh, the front of it I'm going to use these uh, drywall screws inch and a half and I drilled a pilot hole uh, uh, through from the other side so that they'll hit the frame square. The pilot hole is going to be one eighth of an inch, and uh, I'll uh, I'll show you how that goes. Okay, now I turn the the um, disc over. The one that's mounted on the uh, recliner. This would be uh, the opposite of the floor, and I countersink each one of those pilot holes, and I used a uh, half-inch uh, drill to do that. Okay, and as you can see, what should happen is the uh, the screw that I use should be uh, well into the wood and on this side you can I, I uh, test run one of the screws through to see how much it would penetrate the frame and it looks like uh, it's approximately three quarters of an inch which is fine by me we'll try that and see And here you can see the results of the countersink and the test uh, screwing in these uh, screws to see how much shows through. And uh, each one of them looks like they're uh, in good shape. I used uh, five uh, screws and uh, the purpose of the screws, as I found out uh, through using this frame, is that... Uh, it prevents the uh, chair when you get up from sliding off the frame and then falling off uh, out of place and you have to keep setting it back up on the frame. Just as a tip, uh, there's a uh, piece of plastic uh, anti-rust uh, barrier between the wood and the, uh, the uh, uh, bearing on the uh, uh, pedestal. Uh, to hold it in place I used a couple of pieces of uh, uh, duct tape and then as you can see a uh, Phillips screwdriver from the other side to hunt the hole and uh, line it up before I uh, insert the screws we'll see how that goes here let me see you show you from the other side 
and we'll put it down and uh, uh, get it all lined up and screwed up. Okay, just a note, uh, the tape to hold that plastic uh, while you screw these uh, bolts back in, don't even bother with that. Uh, plastic keeps sliding and uh, it gets misaligned. What worked right here is uh, some more um, Phillips head screwdrivers to uh, line up the holes. Uh, you can lift it up and line everything up and then uh, out of three you can get uh, at least one started and then remove one screwdriver at a time and put a, a, a bolt in its place. That's what works. Okay, we're ready for the big reveal. I got it all together and back on the ground. As you can see, uh, it's uh, approximately seven and a half inches off the ground where it would normally be and it would actually be approximately the same height as this uh, bed and both of them are uh, very easy to get in and out of for somebody that has trouble with their knees arthritis and so on okay I don't believe that's going to slide off that frame I think that's the end of it now thank you